take a brother's voice and have him say whatever. You know, have them, you know, do whatever. Yeah. You know? Um, actually, if I can add real quick, I just saw an Instagram post. They have AI model shows now. Right? You have a fully autom- uh, artificial intelligent um, image of models walking down the street. Right? So they can literally make these images and make you look like you're doing something that you're really not good at. See, that's how far Esau's technology has come. But I do have a precept, uh, John 15 and 18. If the world hated you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. But because you are not of the world, but I've chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. So the world's going to hate the words that we're speaking because they hate Yahusha. Because we're speaking the same words that he spoke. We're reading precept upon precept, line upon line. We're literally speaking Yahweh's words, you know, that he spoke two thousand over two thousand years ago, you know. But they hold, you know, in, in these times they hold so much more weight and power. They did back then, but because they're coming to pass, we're seeing the downfall of our enemy. We're seeing the downfall of Esau. We're telling them what's going to happen before it happens, and they can't do shit about it. A little bit more here, uh, verse twenty. Remember the word, the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have not, if yeah, they have, he says that many false witnesses mm-hmm. were brought before Yahweh Shai. So they had people telling lies and whatnot. And then it says that their stories were even adding up. <clears throat> so the same thing happened to us right, when we get arrested. Not if, but when. Because a lot of us were going to be arrested. The same as Yahweh Shai, he went through it. How much more for us being his servants? So this is going to get arrested. Some of us never been arrested before. Throwing in prison. Some of us never been in the uh, the system before. 
that's what they're going to do to a lot of us. And don't 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 find it strange if homeboy from down the street is there. Say, yeah, he did this, he did that. But X pops up, yeah, he did. He used to do this, he used to say that, so on and so forth. Or even your moms. The scriptures say, "One's foe shall be dead of his own household." If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. But these people don't know the Heavenly Father, right? The scriptures say that uh, you know, they are taught by the precepts of men. They think that God is all love. They think that, oh, God, why don't you destroy America? America. God loves America. America is prosperous. God's for America. God, yeah, God's for America. But no, the Lord said that he's angry with the wicked every day. And who, who, where's the most wickedness coming from? It's coming from over here in America, man. We're right here, over here in Sin City. You got wickedness all up through in day, <laughs> daylight to sundown, man. You know? Got it. Uh, man, so cool. uh, this is uh, Amos 99. From lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations. When he goes this word, sift it means to shake it. So what's the Heavenly Father going to do? He's going to cause certain situations to happen. He's going to shake the faith of those that believe that there is a legacy. So when he brings about that persecution, that's why the whole IUIC thing, that whole thing's going to crumble like a cheap deck of cards. It's going to collapse. Because why? They're not catching him. They're not going through anything. So when that persecution comes, they haven't been taught how to, uh, how to conduct themselves, what to say, who to pray to, how to pray, so on and so forth. They haven't been taught none of this. They haven't been taught, hey, all oh, hell's going to break loose, right? There's going to be family going to have to chip, right? So on and so forth. They ain't been taught none of that. Could you get a uh, second measure 16 and 40 real quick? Because of what's going to happen in that time, you're going to be thinking, dang, what did I do to prepare myself for this time? Yeah. What have I been doing to prepare myself? And then he's going to be looking at you like, okay, what have you done for me lately? <laughs> what have you done for me lately? You, you, you received the warning mm -hmm. and you didn't take heed. You heard that these things are happening that, that were going to happen take place. Jacob's trouble. There's going to be famines. There were going to be uh, insurrection, all, you know, world war. And what did you do to prepare yourself? The Lord is going to be looking at you like that. And, and the scripture says that, um, um, it says, Lord, Lord, have we not cast out uh, uh, prophesied uh, in, pro in that name, yeah. cast out devils yeah. in that name? The Lord is going to say, depart from me. You weren't going to do that work in I never knew you. You know? So that the persecution is, is is a part of this, all right. When you come into this this truth, when you uh you know your whole life changed. This is this is what this is your life, you know. Ain't no turning back into the world. That's what and then that's a lot of Jake's are going to do that or attempt to do that once the persecution comes. Like I didn't sign up for this, you know. Know what you're getting into, or just keep your ass in the in the world and wait for a missile. Pretty much. That's what the Lord said. I was that I was cold or hot. You know, cold meaning totally not in the faith, and hot meaning you on fire in this thing. Right, right. At least the Lord knows what to do with you. We have certain Israelites that are lukewarm. He didn't know that you're in this life, but you ain't doing your videos. He didn't know that you're in this life, but you ain't doing your sit downs. You ain't going on the highlands and edges. You're lukewarm. So I go back to say what you said. The Lord has to set the house of Israel. He has to, he has to shape this thing up. He has to, he has to make people make a decision of whose side are you on. Are you on the side of the Yahweh Shemel side, or are you on the side of. Um, Oh, you know, left side of the side of the wiki. Save yourself. Uh, real quick, Matthew chapter 13, verse 20. But he that received the seed into stony places, the same as he that heareth the word and a loud with joy receiveth it. Yet hath he not root in himself, but dureth for a while. For when tribulation or persecution ariseth, because of the word, by and by is offended. You see? So when when uh when when that shaking happens, right? That persecution comes. They're like, fringes. So no more fringes. They, they tried to hide, man. Because why? They, they had no substance. They, had, they did not root themselves within the outer shots. You right. say you got to build upon that foundation on that rock. Yeah, you know, you have to be in this thing. You have a lot of chance to say, okay, you know that you're in this life, but in your free time, you ain't doing nothing with it. Right? Yeah, you got the popcorn while you're watching the videos, but you ain't taking no notes. Should say wisdom comes from opportunity and leisure. That's your downtime. You have your downtime. That's when you're supposed to get down in this world. You got it, bro. Uh, this is uh, Second Ezra 16 and 40. It says, oh, my people, hear my word. Make you ready to thy battle. Thy battle is when no hell breaks loose. The time of Jacob's trouble. 
Now, how do you make yourself ready? By way of studying, reading, taking notes, so on and so forth. That's how you prepare yourself for that time. Wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of that time. Yeah. And in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Yeah, I didn't want to see none of that. Man. I didn't have it remotely thinking about it. Oh, when all hell break loose, I might not have my luxury garment be in my house. You're going to be on the move, just like the move of the road. So when the Heavenly Father calls that shaking and shakes, shakes this thing up, we have a lot of, and have a lot of things go back to the world because it would never really. Okay, um, this is uh, Proverbs <clears throat> chapter 22, verse 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. So you got to be prudent. What prudent means, let me look it up real quick. I want the actual definition. The word prudent, it says, acting with or showing care and thought for the future. You see, so a lot of you people, you don't care about the future, man. You care about today. You know, you care about what you're about to call my next. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Lunch, snack, and that's all you got on your mind. You got that uh, carnal uh, mindset. Yeah. But when you think about uh, the future, right? You have that foresight, and you actually plan ahead. You can okay, damn, the economy's crashing. Uh, uh, the dollars is is damn near useless, right? China and uh, 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 Russia are are allies, right? They're they're uh, they're negating America. You got all these different things that's happening on this earth, but you don't care about it. So it says what? The simple pass on. And they are, um, it says they are punished. You got it wrong. And that's, oh. Oh. And that's the spirit of Jake. They, they, they think that the things that we're speaking of, these prophecies, are um, not going to come to pass in their lifetime. Mm -hmm. um, that's Ezekiel uh, 12, 12, 12. Someone get that for me, for oh, sure. Because that, that, that's the spirit of Jake, man. They, Jake sees these things happening. You see, you can, you know, Russia, the BRICS nations, China. You see the, 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 the global tensions arising, but Jake doesn't think that this world's war is going to affect them. So they're putting it off. Everything that's going on as far as property is going to affect Jake first and foremost. Okay, because we're at the bottom. You know, we, we you know, Esau can kind of maintain it a little bit because they have savings. We don't got shit. So we're going to be. We're gonna. It's called. That's why it's called Jacob's trouble. It ain't called Esau. It ain't called Boaz's trouble. Yeah, they're gonna get jacked up, but our people are gonna have it the worst. You know, and that that's that's why you have to. You know, you prepare. And like the brother was going into, JC was going on, but they don't prepare. And I ain't talking about you know a uh, uh, hoarding up food and planting your own food and doing all this prepping shit. I'm talking about building your mind up, building your spirit up, building your faith up. Those are things that's going to get you through these times. All right, because you can be a, a bodybuilder, you can you know know how to fight and old martial arts, and you know you you nice with the you nice with your guns and everything, and that's not going to do you no good in that time, because your mind, your spirit is not built up to um to 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 take on the uh the, the things that's going to take place in Jacob's trouble. So like you got you got it. Uh, this is Ezekiel twelve twenty two. Says son of man, what is that power that you have in the land of Israel? Saying the days are prolonged and every vision fell. Well, that's, yeah. that's how you know it's all about that's how you know it's all about Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because right. anytime you bring up the judging in this place, first thing they say is, Oh, not in my lifetime. That's the first thing that they say. That's the same thing written here, just in a different way. Yeah, because yeah, um uh I was talking to my mom not too long ago, and I said, like, you know, people don't really talk about, you know, the war coming back. You know, she always say, no, oh, no, that's not going to happen yet. That's not, that's not going to happen in our time. And so when is it going to happen, right? How do we know when it's going to happen? What are the signs that we're going to see when, when this thing is about to uh, take place? You see, people don't ask these type of questions. And then when you don't ask these type of questions, you don't care about it. Yeah, and that's why y'all was trying to say, when you see the fig tree start yeah. to blossom, you know, summer is not, you know, so you can discern the signs of the seasons, but you can't discern the signs of the times. Can't these signs. Yeah, because the Heavenly Father, he gave, he gave, he gave the points. He gave the points. Like, okay, look, this is how you know when my son's coming back. Mm -hmm. I was just saying, look, we see this, we see that, we see this, that, earthquakes in our first places, love of many works of gold, yeah. so on and so forth. Let's see how these things come to pass. Then look up, hear redemption, draw off glass. Me and those times. So, you got uh, and I get to say it, but that's just how you got the Lord is dealing with us, or what we part of that earth, because you got people who claim to be, you know, 
Bible scholars and read the Bible and say they read the book of Revelation, stuff like that. But clearly if you read it and you and you, you know, the way it talks about the signs and stuff like that, and you can identify the times that's going on with right now, you should be able to see it. But that's the Lord blinding her being able to see it, to see those things happening and, and have given us the eyes to see it. You know? And to back you up real quick, Jane thinks that oh, it's always been World War conflict. It's always been famines. It's always been not all at once. No, no, no. You know, not, not all these things, all these prophecies are happening all at once. And this in um they're plagues sent by the Heavenly Father, and these plagues are going to begin to increase and increase. It's going to be uh, um, you know, a scarcity of food. Uh, to add on to that, hyperinflation, to add on to that, uh, uh world war. So all these things are happening at once. Not at, you're, not, you're not just having a war and then everything. No, everything's happening. All these calamities is, is going to happen all at once, you know? So I can tell you something. Verse 23 says, Tell them, therefore, then saith the Lord, the how I will make this power to cease. And they, shall, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel, but saying to them, The days are at hand. The effect of every vision, for there shall be no more any vain vision nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. It says, For I am the Lord, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass, it shall be no more prolonged. For in your days, or baby's house, will I say, The Lord, and for, for so I can read that again. For I am the Lord, I will speak. And the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged. For in your days, O Bay's house, will I say, not in my lifetime. Lord said, No, see, I'm gonna make it come to pass in your lifetime. Good. It says, O Bay's house, will I say the word and will perform it? Say of the Lord your house. Right. Yeah, so it's gonna happen, man. Right here. When when it does happen, it's gonna be too late. So that's why we're saying prepare. Prepare yourself, prepare your mind, prepare your spirit, right? Learn the names. These things are important because you, you, if, if who are you going to call in that day? You know, who are you going to call? Who are you going to call when you can't eat, when you can't buy, uh, uh, you know, baby formula for your baby, or, you know, you, you, you know, you don't have a place to rest your head. You see, what's going to happen when those truths come in? Right. Isaiah 59 and 19 says, so they shall fear the name of the Lord. Right when when that standard gets lifted up, who are you? You're not going to be protected, man. And you don't know. It ain't going to be lifted up for you. <laughs> exactly. You know, if you're not if you're not practicing these righteous acts, if you're not practicing calling on the names of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, in your time of trouble now, how much more when you know you ain't gonna call on those names because you don't really truly believe in those names. Yeah, you may know them, but you ain't been practicing in those in those names. So Lord ain't gonna be dealing with you, right? You ain't been practicing the name. You don't really truly believe in that name. Yeah. The scriptures say, seek the Lord while he may be found. Mm -hmm. So right now, the time you're trying to seek the Lord, you know, so, okay, especially while the man out here is still, you know, prophesying and, and telling you what the name is. When the Lord takes us off the streets, and, you know, and he come around and shut the internet down, you know, you're not going to be able to hear us. He's going to be searching for us. You're going to be through. And that's why the Lord, he has us going through whatever it is that we're going through right now. Right, whatever hell or affliction that we're catching, mm -hmm. right? Then that's what when you overcome it, then you're like, hey, boy, I don't want to shoot a shot. That starts to build your faith. Then you go to the next challenge, yeah. then the Lord gets you out of that hell. Yeah. Body, I don't want to shoot a shot. Then you go to the next one. That's all just preparing us mm -hmm. when all uh, hell breaks loose. Right. So when you see a Israelite like, group and looks like they all smiles, they all good, that's the problem. That's a huge red flag. The scripture says the heart of the wise in the, is in the house of mourning. In the house of uh, fools is in the house of murder. Rough paraphrasing. So that's the problem. If you if your Israelite group, if your group is all smiles and y'all have fashion shows and whatnot, that's the huge red flag. I don't like, break part. loose. What you gonna do? Right. Um, okay. Yeah, okay. I got one. This is Proverbs twenty one and twenty. There is a treasure to be desired, and oil in the dwelling of the wise, but a, fool, a foolish man spinneth it up. See, and um, you know, the scriptures say, uh, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. Right. The fear of the Lord is your treasure, you know. Um, but basically, you have to have that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding because when 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 um, you get put in certain situations, you're gonna know how to conduct yourself. You're gonna be like, Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna walk that way. Oh, right. pray to the Lord, I'm 
I'm shy. Look, I'm, I'm in a tight squeeze right now. I don't know what to do. Send a sign. You're gonna have these things built into your your um your habits, yeah. right? But if you have bad habits, you you jump in the gun. You um you're not um you're not relying on faith, right. you know, because you got a lot of men who who, who rely on on self will. They're thinking like, I'm sure, I think I'm gonna need to do this, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. But no, scriptures say trust in the Lord with all your heart. Appreciate that. You got it. Uh, this is uh, Matthew 10 and 17. It says, but beware of men. Yeah, they were... <laughs> <laughs> God. Yeah, you speak on the two. No, no, you got it, bro. Nah, this is uh, uh, Matthew 10 and 17. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And you shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, Take no thought how or what you should speak. Because we in the flesh. Mm -hmm. You get nervous. You're like, shit, damn, I might get arrested. Dang. What I'm going to say? Yeah. What I'm going to do? Mm -hmm. You know, you get a little nervous and whatnot. But the Lord wow. said, don't even think like this. Don't even worry about it. Lord said, I'm rehearsed. Mm -hmm. You know, because in that day, the Lord is going to be speaking speaking through us. Mm -hmm. um, like he did Stephen. Like he did many of the uh, um, apostles, disciples, the men that, that followed him. He mm -hmm. spoke through them. And, or in the case of Stephanie in the book of Acts, he, he cut the hell out. Mm -hmm. You know? So, you know, who's to say and the Lord may put the spirit on us in that day, we're gonna cut the hell out of Esau. And of course they're gonna wanna uh, uh gnash on us with the with the with the gnash on us with the teeth. Teeth. Yeah, they're gonna wanna put a hands on us, but hey, we know we already got the victory. We just gotta go, we just gotta, you know, go through the straight gate. You know, go through with it. So I could go through it. Yeah. It says for it should be given you in that same hour where you shall speak. For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. Mm -hmm. And hey, that's the faith that we have. You know, when, when things pop off, even when they do come grab us up, you know, and they do whatever, if it's through the tribe, whatever, we're gonna have faith that Yahweh yeah, Shemash is gonna be with us and give us the words to say to, to those that was in them days. Uh, well, read verse 22. That's a good one. Too, uh, so you want me to go down? Yeah, 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 go down, bro. And verse 22. It says, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Mm -hmm. He that endure to the end shall be saved. Yeah. Yeah. You know, in this world, everyone, you know, no one wants to be hated. No. Everyone wants to be liked yeah. and, you know, be cool with everyone. Hey, it's going to get to a point where within you, that say, man, the hell with these people. You know, these people are against me. They're, if, they're, if they're against us, they're against Howard Sharp. So, hey, the hell with these people. That's a, that, that's the spirit you got to have because we want to endure. We know we know what we're seeking for, all right? These people are, 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 you know, when they come against us, they're trying to hold on to what they have here in, in this in this, in this this wicked-ass society, right? They don't want the kingdom. These niggas are not looking for the kingdom. They want to just maintain here and, you know, just everything to be all right. Everything's going to be okay. No, everything's not going to be okay. But they're going to use us <laughs> as the, you know, as the, um, as the problem, okay? You know, we're, oh, this, those Israelites over there, they're, they're the ones that's causing all this. They're causing all this, 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 these things to take place. You know, you got it, bro. No, no, that was it. That was the point. Bro. Luke fourteen and twenty-five. Knowing great multitudes with them, and he turned and said to them, "If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brother and sisters, yea, in his own life also, he cannot be my disciple." Uh -huh. Yeah, because your family take a back seat to this thing. That's why you have to stay focused too. Right, you gotta stay focused. Your family takes a back seat, and includes your moms, your wife, children, father, mm -hmm. so on and so forth. Uh -huh. Right, you gotta put your own shield shot first. It says, in his own life, also, because why? All of our dreams, aspirations that we wanted to do back when we were in the world, we throw all that in, in the garbage. All right, for this truth, no, we threw it all away. Don't get it twisted, brothers. It's talented. Well, those are very talented brothers could have been doctors, lawyers, engineers, rappers, football players. Brothers have given all that up. We all want to show It says, whosoever doth not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you intended to build a tower sitteth not down first, and count the cost whether he have sufficient to finish it? He's happily after he hath he had laid the foundation. Is that not able to finish it? All that behold it began to mock him, saying, This man began to build, but was not able to finish. Uh -huh. In other words, you got to know what you're involved in. Mm -hmm. 
You gotta actually think. Like sometimes you actually have to think, dang, I might just die. I might get my hand chopped off. That's part of the reality of being in this thing. Because if you if your group is in the spirit of mirth, you're not having thoughts like this. You're not thinking, dang, what am I gonna do if I get in front of this? Dang, what if I die? Dang, what what if I get beheaded? Hmm. You gotta actually think like that. What what happens when they put your face on the news? You show up to work, you show up to work, like, everybody go check in. Everybody looking at you like, hey, that's him. Hey, that, that, yeah, yeah. Get, get him. Like, you got to actually think like that. Yeah. Having your boss, let's say your boss pulls you to the office. That's some, sometimes that happens to me. My boss will be like, hey, you need an office. I'm like, oh, dang, do they go? <laughs> you know what I mean? Is you know what I mean? Is this the day? Is this the day? <laughs> yeah. But that's how you have to think in this thing. You have to be, you have to have the mindset of, okay, I could lose any and everything at any moment. Mm -hmm. Have that mindset. That one when all hell break loose, you didn't even think about it so long. You ain't got to worry about it. You just grab my little bag, got to cook food, you know, a little bit of food, and then we check out. You know, get out of mind, so dropping everything, just going. Okay. All right. Um, I wanted to grab this because of what the uh, brothers brought out that Matthew. This is Revelation 2 and 10. For none of those things which thou shalt suffer, behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Uh -huh. That ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So, you know, hey, some of us will be cast into prison. It's like the brother said, you know, you got to think about, yeah, I should get my head chopped off. You know, mm -hmm. these are all things that we're, we're considering, you see? So when, when you have faith in the Lord and you actually trust in the Lord, you say, you know what? Hey, I'm just keep doing the work, and I'll keep walking in this faith. You don't have to worry about these things. He said, fear not <laughs> when these things happen. Don't meditate upon it. But we know it's coming. It's not like we're not preparing our minds for it. You see? And it says that you shall be in uh, tribulation 10 days. You don't know how long it's going to be. You see? It could be a month. It could be years. Hey, I tell brothers sometimes, like, say, you get locked up in prison, that may be the safest place for you mm -hmm. at that time. You may be, you may be. You know, it may be a whole bunch of shit going on outside of the prison where you're protected and somehow, some way, the most high, you know, get you up out of there after, you know, the, the uh, mass shooting or whatever took place outside of the prison. You know, so, hey, you have to, when these things happen, you have to think about, contemplate on these scriptures and know that, hey, the Lord is in ultimate control. You know, the, the Lord wants you in prison. The Lord wants you to be beheaded. That's, that's your lot. But you have to, at the end of the day, Continue to put your faith and trust in him and know that he, you know, every brother in this has uh, their their salvation is going to be specific to them, to that brother. Mm -hmm. You know, this brother may not go through it like me and, and vice versa. But just know, if you know, this is your walk. This is, you know, what you know, know what you signed up for. Hey, I got to go through it. You know, and there's literally nothing you can do to change your life. Right. Literally nothing. So if you're allowed us to be beheaded, you will be beheaded. If you're allowed us to go to prison, then that's going to happen. There's nothing to do about it. It's like with the case of Jonah. Jonah didn't want to prophesy on to Nineveh. He didn't want to do it. What did the Lord do? He, had a, uh, he was on a ship. He caused a big storm to happen. The man threw him off the ship. He caused a big fish to, to swallow him. Then he got skewed out on the shores of Nineveh. So he had to do it anyway. See, he had no choice. So likewise with the different things that we're going to go through. There's nothing that you can do to stop it. So you gotta embrace it. Gotta... Yeah, another uh, another example is uh Judas. Mm -hmm. You think you think he wanted to betray the Lord? Mm -hmm. He had no choice. If he had the chance to change his life, it would be this and him. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So hey, you have to endure these things. These are things that we have to we we will have to endure because the Heavenly Father said that we will be rewarded for this, man. Mm -hmm. You see? Always remember that there is a reward for this. So stay focused. That's what it says. Uh, be thou faithful unto <laughs> death, and I will give you a crown, <laughs> crown of life. life. That's a literal crown. Mm -hmm. When you read second verse, the second chapter, it speaks about that crown and ceremony that will be uh, upon the hands of the elect. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's literally going to happen. Exactly. Yeah. You got to go. Yeah. No, 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 no. You got to go. Um, you got something? I got something real quick. Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, meaning what? You read the scriptures and you deal with the scriptures saying, should you say, go on the highest edges? You did it, all right? Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. The hour of temptation when they make that sin mandatory, mm -hmm. all right? So Moses going to keep you when he what? 
you then put the spirit upon you to resist that seer. It says, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon earth. It says, behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, then no man take thy crown. And then what, what is it that we have? The only thing that we have is this understanding. Because everything else can be taken away. All right? So it says, hold that fast which thou hast, then no man take thy crown. The number one enemy within this thing of ours is ourselves. We're our number one enemies. The flesh. Yeah. <laughs> I have something real quick. Uh, Hebrews 6 and 10. For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shown towards his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. Yeah, that reward, man. That's that's one of the most important uh, um, things that you can you can meditate on to, to help you stay focused. Because what, what comes with that reward? New bodies, the kingdom of heaven. Right, riches, glory, because we, hey, the scriptures say that we were put, you know, put to shame in all these different lands. Mm -hmm. You see, so what? Imagine being glorified. Imagine uh, never having to hear <laughs> uh, a heathen call you outside of your name or something, anything, right. man, whatever. Right? We're gonna be we're gonna be kings on this earth, man, with new bodies. Right. Imagine being perfect. That's what we're gonna be. Um, you know, scriptures say, uh, "Land of treasures in heaven." So us doing this work, you shouldn't be trying to be seeking any reward to get on this side. You know, you should be doing this work. First off, glorify your how about your shy and also land up your treasures in heaven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, you don't want to be doing this thing for, for nothing. You know, doing yeah. all this work, catching all this hell for years, and then fall out. You know what I mean? Your, your goal is to, to what? To finish it. Everyone that's running the race, they don't have the mindset of, I'm going to run half a mile and not hit that finish mm -hmm. line. Their whole mindset is, I'm going to run past that finish line. Even if I couldn't last, they still want to keep chugging it up. Mm -hmm. right. Too close, man. Yeah, yeah. too close to falling back. To falling back to, to well, the other part of this lesson, to lose focus. Mm -hmm. You know, don't, don't lose focus, man. Don't, you know, veer off. You got to keep your, yeah, what's the scripture say? Keep your eyes seen. I got that. Okay. You got to keep those guys. Matthew chapter 6, verse 22. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. Want to break it down? No, you got it. Bro. Break it down. Oh. Well, oh. you know your eye being single, you know, I'll break it down. You break the rest down. You're just keeping your, your eye focused on this truth. Don't let all these other distractions in your life, in the world, they don't, none of this shit matters. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're going through with your woman, it, 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 at work or whatever, that does not matter at the end of the day. It's just temporal. It's just to throw you off. All right, Satan's going. Satan's out there trying to throw you off your game. All right, if you got to keep your mind focused on this truth and salvation, and, and feeding, and feeding the lamb. All right, doing the Lord's work, doing the Lord's will. All right, the Lord opened up your eyes. If you're fortunate to have your eyes open by this truth and this knowledge and this understanding, you should feel fortunate and take advantage of that. Um, and it goes back to the, the the parable of the talents. All right, the Lord opened your eyes. This is not every day. All right, can break these scriptures down. These mysteries were given unto you to to you know for you to you know make good of the Lord's money to to um to uh um, what's the word uh to to, 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 to yeah to give an increase to multiply all right and, and to to feed it to, to wake up the elect. That's what it's about waking up the elect. You know and, and man, don't you got to just you got to stay focused. It's, I know it's hard because we live in Babylon. We're in the flesh. You, you got all this bullshit around us, the distractions. But at the end of the day, none of this shit really matters. You know, it's not going to matter. All right. Well, what you, you know, whether you did this or whether you did that, you know, this summer, it's not going to matter when Jacob's trouble is there. All right. When, when, when you don't have food. All right. When, when, you know, troops are at your door, troops are on your street. You know, none of that shit's going to matter. What matters is what you're doing, why you have this, this grace period to, um, to serve the Lord. So I think that one's very good. Um, it says, the light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. So like the brother said, that, that single eye, you're focusing on this truth, right? And, and what is this truth? The scriptures say, um, he's, Yahweh Shai is the light, the way, and the truth. Mm -hmm. You see? It says, but if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. Yeah, if thine eye be evil, meaning you focus on the wrong things. Mm -hmm. There's many things within this world that can distract you and even pull you out of faith. Mm -hmm. You have to be disciplined. You got to have tunnel vision within this thing. Right, right. Right, everything that you do literally has to be filtered through the scriptures. Right. Yeah. Like it's Jake's, that's 
in the truth for the wrong reasons. Mm-hmm. You know, it's mm-hmm. Jake says in the truth because they want a rap career. Mm-hmm. They want multiple wives mm-hmm. or, uh, um, you know, they, they want to just be on a level. They want they're puffed up with, with pride because of the wisdom. Mm-hmm. It, ain't, it ain't about us. Mm-hmm. It's, ne- it's never been about us. Mm-hmm. It's always been about how about she never shine, you know? So, yep. It says, if therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness? John the Priest of the Lord. This is uh, 2nd Ezra 2 and verse 27. It says, be not weary. Because, you know, we catch an hell, you know, it hurt, you know. This, the Lord said, don't be weary. For when the day of trouble and heaviness coming, that's Jacob's trouble when all hell breaks loose, others shall weep and be sorrowful. Yeah, like these different Israelites that didn't prepare themselves properly. You could say, uh, I will laugh at that calamity, uh-huh. right? It says, but thou, and you that did this work, shall be married and have abundance. Mm-hmm. Abundance of what? And the scripture saying, the days of famine, you shall have an abundance. You have lots of food when all hell breaks loose. It says, the evil shall envy thee, envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, said Yahweh Shemel Shah. My hand shall cover thee, which is a metaphor meaning Lord will protect you. So that thy children shall not see hell. So the Lord's gonna cover your children too when all hell breaks loose. Right. And it's not because your children was doing the work, it's because you were. Right. So because you because you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, that mercy can be extended onto your family. Right. Just like with Noah. Noah was out there prophesying. Right. They didn't say uh Shem, Ham, and Japheth were, but through Noah's actions, his whole household was saved. Right. Yeah. And then two where it says in uh uh first Corinthians seven chapter. It says that the unbelieving wife can be sanctified by the mm-hmm. husband and the, and the unbelieving husband. So if, if you have this word in you and you're doing everything that you're supposed to be doing, and you have somebody that, that's not in the truth, uh, a family, you know, your wife or, or husband, or whatever, hey, continue to trust in the Lord and, and serve the Lord. That person could be saved through you. Because most likely. No, because, because what's going to happen is your family, your loved ones, they're going to see your faith mm-hmm. and they're going to believe in you. It's like, you know, you know, they see faith in you. They see how shy in you. So that's going to make them believe. Because we, we know that, the uh, of course, the, the head is you, the most high, the, uh, the how shy, and then man. Yeah. So your, and, and your family is under you. So you're, you're the head. So your family has to be, they're going to look to you. At, at they, well, in these days, they should be looking to you for instruction and guidance. But it, and how much more in that day of Jacob's trouble? All right, when they see you not bug out, they see you not worrying, they're gonna be they're gonna you're gonna be faith, you're gonna be seen as a uh, as faith unto your family. It's like uh the writers real quick, this is Second Timothy two and three. It says, Thou therefore endure harmless as a good soldier of the house shall my shot. And his land brother brother was talking about, you know, we catching all kind of hell, you know, we going through we go through, but the people around us see that when they see that we're enduring and we're we're not letting nothing from the outside world affect us and stop us from doing this and pushing this truth, continue to keep going forward, that can boost their faith up too. Like, damn, he going through it, but he continue mm-hmm. out there steadily on the highways and bottles. He's steadily mm-hmm. putting up his three videos. You know, he's constantly can continue to keep going. So that yeah. can uplift the faith of others around you as well. Mm-hmm. And I just read the next verse. It's verse 4, it says, no man that war can take himself with the affairs of No man life. that war, meaning what? We're involved in the spiritual fight. We fight every day. Every day you got to review thoughts. Every day you got to fight the, the demons out there, mm-hmm. right? To hop on people to get at you. So every day is, you got to fight. Yeah. that he may. Oh, and it says, no man that war entangled with himself with the affairs of this life. So with all this stuff going on right about you, you don't really focus on that. Your know? your whole priority, your focus is this knowledge. Right, right. It says that he may please him who have treated him to be a soldier. Which is Yahweh mm-hmm. Shemel Shai. All the glory to please Yahweh Shemel Shai. All right. Yep. Oh, I got something. This is a Hebrews 10, and verse 32. But call to remembrance the former days in which after you were illuminated and after you got this understanding, you endured a great fight of afflictions. Because that came after you got the understanding. He never said what? Well, uh, I believe, therefore have I have spoken, I was greatly afflicted. So that came after you get the understanding. After you get the understanding, then you start catching that. You thought it was bad in the world. Nah, when you come to this truth, you really start going through it. Yeah. You really start going through it. And then the only ones that can actually understand what you're going through is brothers in this thing. Right. That's it. If you try to tell your mom about it, she's going to let you like you crazy. Yeah. What? A demon? Brothers? What you talking about? You know what I'm saying? They, they can't get it. 
because they're not going through similar things. Yeah, they take that to another level. Like, say you, like, you find with me, but you find with your spirit, they think that you're <laughs> yeah, you doing like, something wrong. Yeah, what you doing wrong? Yeah. Yeah. They, 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 they hear the word demon, they automatically think uh, ne- negative witchcraft. Oh, yeah, no, you can no, no, no. have a righteous demon on you, you know, but that's just, that's just the mindset of this world. You know? mm-hmm. So, uh, no. one says, partly whilst you were made a gazing stunt, both by reproaches and afflictions, and partly whilst ye, whilst ye became companions of them that were so used. So you started, you know, joining the ministry, you got brothers around you that's going for the exact same thing. It says, For ye have compassion of me and my bonds, and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods, knowing, knowing in yourselves that ye have in heaven a better and an enduring substance. Mm. Cast out. Ooh, say that again. It says, "Ye had compassion of me in my bonds, and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods, mm. knowing in yourselves that ye have in heaven a better and an enduring substance." Now, what is that? Hey, we got those new bodies to look, to look forward to, man. You see, because hey, that's uh, the scripture said that the kingdom of heaven is within you. Yep. So this word is already in us. Right, we're studying, you know, gaining more knowledge. But all we need is is those new bodies. Once we get that new Jerusalem that's built, spoken of in what Revelation twenty two, or twenty one, that 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 new Jerusalem is is the elect man, and those new bodies coming down from heaven. Yeah, because there's a great reward for those that go through their affliction. Right? A great reward, in which Yahweh Hashem shall give when He comes back. Right. So here we can lose things on this side, and it's like, damn. Lost this, you lost that, you lost your woman. It ain't hurts. Yeah, but guess what? The Lord said, whatever you lose for his name, you say, exactly. you're going to get a hundred from him. It says, Cast not away therefore your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. So it's a great payback for what we're going through. All right? So you just say we're going through a lot of affliction. Yeah, yeah. It says, Ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of the Most High, ye might receive the promise. For yet a little while, and ye that shall come will come and will not tarry, which is the Lord. Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Draw back meaning going back in the world. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition. Because anyone that falls out, they're going to be destroyed. But of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Right I had a precept to go and give you that kind of quote of it. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 16. For which cause we faint not, but through, but though our inward man perish, yet the inward, excuse me, though our outward man perish, though our inward man is renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and external weight of glory. Uh-huh. Yeah, the Lord called this light affliction what we go through. Okay? So we just have to keep going and keep pushing forward for that ultimate goal. So what? Say, uh, I got three seven real quick. Is that good? Yeah, we're good. Uh, Second Peter is one and uh, ten. It says, Wherefore, rather, rather get diligent to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you should never fail and fall. Did you read that too? How do, you, how do you make your calling and election sure? By, by doing what the Lord told you to do. He told you what? Feed my sheep. He told uh, Simon Peter three times, Feed my lambs, feed my sheep. See? And enduring it, maintaining it. Mm-hmm. You know? Going on the highways of the byways. Yeah. Right? These were these were things that we were told to do in order to uh to receive salvation. Right? He taught us how to pray. He taught us how to conduct ourselves amongst the Gentiles, amongst the heathen. You see? So how when you when you, when you do these things and, and you start walking in, in, in the image of Yahweh Shai, that's how you start to make your calling your election short. One of the hardest things to do in life is to be um, consistent. Mm. Like you see someone in sports and the greats are consistent. They can consistently score so many points or they're consistent and scoring this many touchdowns. In this, the Lord wants you to be consistent. The Lord wants you to, you know, remain at that level and and, and, and continue to, you know, improve. You know, he doesn't want you to oh, be on fire and be a skin and then just because you want you feel you on a level just kind of you know, level. I don't know. The Lord wants you to be, you know, be, be consistent in, in all His doings, all His work. What's that precept uh, for the Lord? Uh, for none to perish, but 
But he knew he was going to get it. But if the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. So he knew about the comment written over the second measures that Yahusha was going to be the one crowned and they had to be alive. Uh -huh. He knew about that. Yeah. And not to me only. And he ended up being the only one to receive the crown. Go ahead. But unto all of them also that love his appearance. That's the rest of the members of the elect. So he knew about the crown and ceremony. So there's a there's a reward for being within this thing. A great reward. That's why you want to keep doing this thing right to the end. Just like with Peter, right? Whether it was the Lord who showed him through a vision, or whether he remembered the words of Yahweh Shai when he told him that uh, Peter was going to die. Either or, he knew that he was going to die soon, but guess what? He still had the mindset of getting this word out. This is like Hebrews 49. It says, there remained, a, there remained there for a rest to the people of the Most High. Well, he that has entered into his rest, which is the kingdom, he also has ceased from his own works as the powers did from his. Right, because in the kingdom, we ain't going to be out there teaching. We ain't going to have to have the guard with all rebuke and change. That's when we get to enter our permanent vacation. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. Least any man fall after the same example. So you gotta work. See? And it's not like I mean, work, 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 all that matters is the work. <laughs> no, but that 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 labor of love that, that brother brought out earlier, um, Hebrews 6 and 10, right? You have to work, you gotta do the labor. Because if you've been resting this whole time, sitting back like the brother said with the popcorn, watching videos, and you ain't been doing no labors, what what, where do you, what do you expect to receive from that type of, of you know what I'm saying? Those actions. Just like with a woman. If a woman say, oh, I love you. But then she ain't never got the food ready when you get home. The house is always the best when you get she home. Love you. you know? She don't kiss you. Yeah, she don't kiss you. She don't hug you, you no more. You're going to be like, hey, you don't love me. Why? Because of her actions. Mm -hmm. You have to have actions to back everything up. Right. Faith That's without, so yeah. faith without works. Is yeah. that it? Yep. Yep. I actually yeah. 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 Uh, uh, Matthew 11 and 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. This is your Shai speaking. Okay? He's going to give us He's going to give us that ultimate rest. As uh, Micah 2 and 10 says, uh, this is not your rest. Uh, for he has clearly, uh, it rises, clearly destroyed you. Take my, yoke upon, take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Going back to what I mentioned earlier, um, that it says that I will find you have rest for your souls. That's that peace of mind that 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 you know brothers are, are, are seeking for, that are you know uh, you know hoping for. We're prisoners of hope. We, are, we want the kingdom. We want the, those law statutes commandments written in us. We want the new covenant, the second covenant. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you know, but we got we have to labor, all right. But you know, we have we trust and believe that there's a man a, a, world, a reward beyond our imagination man, that for 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 this work that we're doing. You don't want to be of uh, could you get real quick Daniel twelve and uh, two I think it is. Oh yeah, Daniel twelve and two because hey man, when when all hell break loose, you're gonna have. Jake folding like a cheap deck of cards. Yeah. When that time period comes and they, they, they destroyed and then they get born back in the kingdom, they don't have their hands down. You don't yeah. want to be like that. You don't want to be a, a Jake that got to have this understanding and then fell out. And all of a sudden you're in the kingdom. You got this wicked Jake you know from down the street. You've been wicked since day one. Mm -hmm. Y'all in the same boat. Y'all both for two thirds. Yeah, yeah. That's going to piss you off. Yeah. That's going to piss you off. There ain't no do overs. Ain't no response. Yeah. That is game 12 and 2. You can start at 1 actually. It goes into the precept. I'm telling you what is wrong. Game 12 and 1. It sounds like I was trying to. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which stand before the children of thy people. Mm -hmm. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was, such as never was, was since there was a nation. So it's going to be worse than slavery, worse than 70 AD. It's going to be the worst time ever, you know? Even to that same time. Mm -hmm. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Oh, uh, Jake, read that. Oh, we're going to make it anyways. Nope, it gets specific. Go ahead. Everyone that should be found written in the book. That's the elect. Mm -hmm. Only the elect is going to make it out of it. You got it? And many of them that sleep in the dust mm -hmm. of the earth shall awake, mm -hmm. some to everlasting life, mm -hmm. 
and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Yeah, they're saying that if Jake and the king with their heads down, like, dang, I guess I should just, dang, they going to feel horrible. They're going to be blessed, though. They're going to be good. Yeah. But it's that mindset of, dang, yeah. I listen. And it's, this, it's kind of the, the status that you're going to have. Mm-hmm. You ain't going to be up there when they let. Yeah. Just like you got a CEO of one of these companies. They they, they got money. They get good. But they're not up there with the, the wicked heat of the society. Just like in the kingdom, you know, you're going to have it's, it's levels, you know. So you want to, you know, you want to, you know, strive to be a part of that number, be a part of that game. You know, not just so you can be over some two third niggas, but just because you, you, you know, we want to be righteous. Mm-hmm. You know, we want we want that new new earth and that new heaven, and you know, you know, we don't we don't want it for carnal carnal reasons. You know, niggas in the, you know, even you can say niggas in the truth, they, oh man, for the women. And like, no, man, the women is, that's not, that's not really a, a, a big deal to us. You know, we want, we want to have that peace of mind. We want righteousness. You know, yes, yes, brothers want the power, but we just, we want to, man, we want to, we want to righteous right. Sake, man. We want to be the judges. We've been on this side. We know what women is, uh-huh. but we want to establish the righteousness. Okay, right. that's what we want to do more than anything. Like your brother saying, the woman, you know, to be able to have that power, to be able to rule over nation, that's cool. But we want to make sure everything is in order and according to how about your young shot. That's right, bro. Yeah, it's it's cute. Yeah, we see the GMOs. I'm, yeah. I'm sitting I'm sick walking on concrete. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, you came here, you came to breathe fresh air. You can't do that no more. It's Kim Trails. Yeah, you should not have an organic section within the school. Everything should be organic. Right. It's madness. We got plastic, we got whales beaching themselves. It's, it's, it's crazy. And that's why it says in the SWAT 10 and 4, the Lord will sit over the earth, one that is profitable. That's what we know. Okay. Um, just a few other comments for it, brother. Uh, GMS Spiritual Art 144. I'm going to start here. Um, Matthew 19 29. And everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. Yeah, so hey, you're gonna lose states to this truth. You have to get that's why you get a girl, y'all be together for a few months, y'all break up. Every year you might get a new girl, but if you notice it's always every year, every year because you keep losing. Because the Lord is getting us used to losing things. And that's why you be at a job for a while, yeah. you might get fired, get a new job. You might have a nice little car, you use it for a few years, then boom, you break down, you gotta get a new one. You're getting accustomed to losing things. Mm-hmm. So now he'll break loose. Ain't thinking about packing your PlayStation yet. Yeah. Ain't thinking about that. You think food, water, clothes. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. If, you, if you think about it, it's the most high that gave you mm-hmm. these things. So mm-hmm. how much more for him to give give it to you again? Yeah. Exactly. You know? so, so a few more I'm going to grab here. Matthew 6 and 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. And that's good because the brother was going into having that peace of mind. Right? You always got to worry about a nigga, you know, looking at you and, you know, making sure he ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying, get over it yeah. or, or, you know, rob you or whatever. Or, or a woman trying to, you know, she wants you because of something that you, you got or, or whatever, you know. It says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break uh, through nor steal. Mm-hmm. For where your treasure is, there we are be also. You know, in our heart, in our mind, is set upon the kingdom of heaven. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there's different aspects of the kingdom that, that you know, make you feel special, man. It makes you feel um, like you really want to desire that, that, you know, that aspect of life, man. Because we have not lived true life on this earth yet, you know, we've yeah. been we've been dealing with this hell ever since the fall of Adam. But if they say we have we have only ten percent of our brains, yeah, like yeah. 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 the, the reward is, is very important. Because if, if Peter was going off and he asked the Lord, what was the reward going to be? Lord, what's up? Right? Why didn't I see that? Yeah. But no, he told him what it was. He told him what the deal was. There's a great reward coming to those that continue to labor. You don't get paid until yeah. after right. the job yeah. is done. Because mm-hmm. that's what Esau, you get paid every two weeks. Cool. But never before. Mm-hmm. It's only after that two-week period. Mm-hmm. So there's a certain period of time you got to labor, then you get paid. No, the parable with the penny. 
mm-hmm. right? Um, you have the men that stand in the marketplace, mm-hmm. and he hired them for that day, mm-hmm. right? Even the men at the 11th hour, they came in, they labored, but they all received that payment mm-hmm. after the work. Yeah. You see? Um, this is 2nd Ezra 10, same, same, uh, brother. 2nd Ezra chapter 2, verse 10, thus said the Lord unto Ezra, tell my people that I will give them the, the kingdom of Jerusalem, which I would have given unto Israel. Their glory also will I take unto me and give these the everlasting tabernacles, which I had prepared for them. Which is the new bodies. Mm-hmm. That's another part of the reward, new bodies. Bodies that cannot die, bodies that can't sin, bodies that can't go off. Right? Because a lot of times within the split, you know, in the spirit, we want to do the right thing in the spirit. But the flesh holds us back. Like, you be, dang, I'm hungry. Let me go cook. You know, shh. Mm-hmm. all of a sudden, you look at your phone, you get a new moon notification. Like, and you get mad because, like, you wanted to do the right thing, yeah. but you forgot. Like, that's how you know we're not in the new covenant yet, because we still mess up. People say that well, we're rehearsing the rights of that. Yes. Um, uh, that that this uh, what's that? Second Corinthians two and sixteen. That this is a shadow of things. To shadow come. of things. Yeah, we're, we're 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 just preparing ourselves for what is to come. Yeah, got it. Yes, I'm about it. Yes, I'm about it. Oh, my name, man. Oh, so oh, hey, with that, you know, was that fine? We give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Kapagash. We honor some apostles, we honor some of the community of the world. We honor some of the community of the world. We honor some of the community of the world. We honor some of the community of the world.